Hey guys, welcome back to Sankar Geography classes. So I am today with a new topic that is the corals. Coral and all the points related to the corals is already mentioned in the word whiteboard so that it would save my time and it would be easy to make you understand. So first, look at the corals. What is corals? What is what exactly corals? The definition is they are the corals are microorganism they are the microorganism living in colony they are the microorganism okay they are lives in colony they are living in a colony millions billions of microorganism they are living in a colony in the water bodies like your what ocean seas bay gulf etc so microorganism those they are that means in thousand millions of Organism they resides in a colony. The microorganisms are two types. One is polyps, one is algae. Algae like Jujanthala. Jujanthala algae. The algae name is Jujanthala algae. Okay, so there is two organisms. One is polyps, one is algae. Now polyps, first look at carefully. Polyps are the lime secreting tiny microorganism. They secrete lime. Okay. Now what they do? They do make the home for the algae. That means by secreting the lime, they make the home for the algae. And algae, what does it? It prepares the food through the photosynthesis. Algae. That is algae are two types. Algae exactly mixing. Some are animals, some are micro plants. So they prepare food through the photosynthesis and make foods for the polyps. So that hence they are living, that is the polyps plus algae, they are living mutualistic relationship. They are having a mutualistic relation. That is symbiotic relation. They are symbiotic relation. Nobody is getting harmed. Everybody is getting benefited. That is the meaning of symbiotic relation. Okay. These are the, now comes to the condition for the growth of corals. Condition for the growth of corals are, first is latitude. This is latitude. That means 0 to 30 degree northern hemisphere, 0 to 30 degree southern hemisphere of equator. Suppose earth is like this. So it would be 0 to 30. It would be 0 to 30. So this is the region where corals are formed. Exactly. Why? Because temperature is 20 to 25 degrees. Last year itself OPC acts the temperature for the corals. Temperature is 20 to 25 degrees. Okay. Can sustain up to 28 degrees. But it can sustain up to 28 degrees of temperature. Clear water. Okay. Clear water. Why? Because water should be free of what sediment. Otherwise that will block the digestive system of the corals. Hence there will be death will occur that might uh, lead to the also some fungal diseases shallow water shallow water depth up to 70 meter that means the depth of the water where corals will reside it should not be more than 70 meter depth of the water so this is also known as platform for the development of the coral next Moving water. Moving water means water should not be stagnant water. Why moving water? Because running water or moving water always supplies the new nutrient to, to that region. Hence, the corals would be easily thrive. Okay? For the nutrition. Next, salinity. Salinity 27 to 30% of salinity. Otherwise, it will amount to the depth. Why death? Because if salinity increases, temperature will increase. If temperature increase, then there would be death of the corals. So, and next point is less human activity. So, these are the point for the growth condition or condition required for the growth of corals. Corals are the microorganism. They are lives in colony. They are polyps and algae. Okay. So, this is the condition for the growth. Now comes to the Types of corals. Types of corals first is fringing types. Fringing types means, suppose this is the land or island. Fringing means it would be attached to the land. See here, it, it is attached to the land, fringing. Corals are attached to the water. So, this is the fringing type. Barrier means it would be barrier away from the coast. Barrier means 
away from the coast look at the picture here this is the water this is away from the coast hence this is the barrier type it is protecting it is barrier type so here it would be like this water so this is barrier type okay now this is free next is atoll type atoll means circular types corals are circulars all around it is circular types corals next type is cough coral shape of the corals is cough the shape of the coral should be cough next is snowflake corals that means it would be like a snowflakes like snow like corals this is found in kerala coast this is found in your gulf of manar in india all these coral types exactly found in india except barrier barrier is not found in india now you have to remember barrier types of corals not found in india all are found snowflakes kerala that is malabar coast cough corals in gulf of manar atoll in lakshadweep barrier in does not found in india fringe type found in gulf of kutch then gulf of manar and the nicobar so this is the types of corals okay now comes to the distribution in india this is the figure is drawn over here this is andaman nicobar peace type of this is fringe type of this is fringe fringe means atolls this is barrier type fringe type next it would be gulf of manar this is also fringe type this is atoll type lakshadweep it would be atoll type this is fringe type so this is the distribution of corals in india we will have a world view as well in the world view it would be what so this is eastern part of australia uh, and uh, that is your it would be all around the uh, that is south china sea like indonesia malaysia this region then india is the western part of india that is an eastern part of india madagascar this region of the caribbean sea these are the region where world distributor is there that means world it is found in caribbean sea Uh, arabian sea bay of bengal indian ocean western part of pacific ocean like south china sea okay this are the region these are the region were found you go wait for now corals bleaching coral bleaching is what death of corals death of corals that might be what when corals will die corals will die when this condition would be bleached when this condition would be bleached that will amount to the death of the corals like if temperature increases if salinity increases if uh, the water moderate increases if cyclone frequent elino lalina so lalina is not the factor for the death of corals you have to remember elina is a factor because when elino comes that increase the water temperature when water temperature increases that amounts to the death of corals so this is all about the corals india's distribution i have shown it in india which type of corals are found where it founds now corals death is like catastrophic corals death severe corals bleaching catastrophically 95% of corals would be bleached this is 75% this is 60% this is or 40% it would be like this this is 20% so this is it might be catastrophic it might be severe bleaching it might more it might be normal this is all about the corals everything is here now if you asked some question like why salinity because salinity will increase the temperature and increase if temperature increases that will amount to the death of the corals everything is here now if somebody is having some queries like uh, anybody if if having some queries you can comment you can also ask me directly by my number number is Seven double zero eight seven zero six four five two. You can also call over this number. Otherwise, mail me sipsankaraja at the rate gmail dot com. Otherwise, you can comment me there. You can give put your number in comment so that I will also call back you. Don't worry. Okay, like, share, and comment so that I will make more videos. Thank you all for watching this. Thank you.